personal finance PowerPoint presentation. Clear title. Get ready to get financially fit by practicing personal finance. Most of this information can be found at Investopedia Clear Title, which you can find online. Look at the references, resources, continue your research from there. This is by James Chen, updated March 27, 2022. What is a clear title? A clear title is a title without any type of lien or levy from creditors or other parties that would pose a question as to the legal ownership. So clearly, if we're talking about a sales type of transaction, if you're trying to make a purchase of property, then you want to be able to know that you're going to have the claim to that piece of property. And those claims can get quite complex, given the fact that the land here has been here for like a long time. People have made multiple claims, possibly on the same piece of land that you might be taking a look at. You would like to make sure that your claim is the right claim is a clear claim. For example, an owner of a home with a clear title is the sole undisputed owner and no other party can make any kind of legal claim to its ownership. A clear title is also called a quote, clean titled end quote, or a quote, just, just title end quote, and a quote, free and clear title end quote. So you can see these different terms giving you kind of the indication of what we're talking about here. Is there someone else that basically can have any kind of legitimate claim to this piece of property? That's going to be important to the value of the property. We want the clean title. We want the just title. We want a free and clear title. In other words, a clear title is necessary for any real estate transaction because it firmly establishes who is the property owner. That's going to be important. Otherwise, there's going to be a lot of arguments over stuff. So we need to get that kind of thing straight. So total company, so title companies must do a title search to check for claims or liens of any kind against the title before it can be deemed clear, meaning any other claims against basically the the property. Erroneous surveys and unresolved building code violations are two examples of blemishes that can make a title quote dirty in quotes. So if you got the dirty title then you've got some questions about it that's going to of course cause problems in a sales transaction how to clear how a clear title works a clear title helps to show whether there are many outstanding financial responsibilities attached to the property and is necessary to demonstrate that an owner has the right to sell the property so obviously like like kind of like that bridge when someone tries to sell you like the golden gate bridge or something well, they can't because they don't have the title to it. Obviously, they need to have the title to it. So we got to understand who owns the bridge or in this case, the house or the piece of property, the land and whatnot. So the sale of the property can be disputed if legal ownership is not represented through a clear title. The presence of liens can create a cloud on the title when a claim or an unreleased lien uh, invalidates or impairs the owner's title to the property. So clearly, if there's problems there, then that's an issue. For example, the current owner may still owe payments on an outstanding mortgage or owe contracts for refurbishments work uh, they performed on the property. The title would not be clear and the new owner would then be held responsible for uh, resolving those liens. So obviously, again, that could be that could be an, an issue. And these kind of items, if you were to have a mortgage on the home or something like that from uh, from the one item that, and they clearly if they if there was no payment on it then it's possible that the home was the recourse on that particular loan and if and then if that person tried to sell the home without paying you know the loan and so on then you could see that the the creditor would want to have claim to the fact to the to the recourse which was the home and you could see messy uh dirty dirty everything gets dirty in that case hence dirty title as opposed to the clean one so once a title is cleared the deed can be registered in the homeowner's name the deed is the uh, legal document showing who owns a property so you got the deed showing that that you own it and so there it is uh, if someone is buying a home the title must be clear before the new owner's name can be put on the deed it's important to note that a property could potentially be sold while liens are active the law doesn't require liens to be removed before the sale of a property. However, the buyer wouldn't be able to get a mortgage or home equity loan because the bank would research and discover the past liens, which would have uh, to be cleared for the financing to go through. 
So clearly, most of the time, you want a clear title. And if you're looking for financing, if you're not paying with straight cash, for example, then you'd, you'd almost have to have the clear title because the lender is not gonna want a dirty title because they're gonna be using the house as collateral in the event that you don't pay back the loan and they wanna make the, sure the collateral is clear so that they lower the risk on their end. So number four, uh, four reasons why a title isn't clear. So there are many reasons why a title search might come back, uh, come back uh, listing the title as unclear. Just because someone currently lives in a home doesn't mean that the home has been t titled or vested to that person. So the fact that, you know, that someone's living there, uh, you know, the finders keepers kind of thing doesn't doesn't totally hold up. That's kind of part of the legal system, I guess. But uh, just being the finders keeper doesn't always doesn't always work. It's not like exactly a legal term that be that. So when it comes time to sell the home, the buyer can run into problems with the title, meaning who owns the property is unclear heirs. Uh, complications can arise when, when older properties where the heirs of a prior owner may still have some claim to the real estate. So now you've got, it gets complicated, you know, when people die and stuff and property and whatnot, and who has ownership to the property and multiple people that could possibly claims and it gets all messy, dirty, it all, the title gets dirty. For instance, a prior owner may have granted a portion of the property to an heir who never took an active role as an owner. Uh, the, the said heir's rights as a partial owner may have passed on to their descendants uh, who, might, who might not be aware of the circumstances. So you can see how this, gets, this can get messy quickly. Uh, title problems can also arise if the heir to the property never filed the deed with the county's clerk office to transfer ownership. When the heir goes to sell the property, title problems will occur as the deed would still show the family member who willed the property to the heir. So fraud could, could be an instance that would be an intentional uh, t uh, deceit, deceit intentionally made for profit or some benefit. So possession of a clear title is also important to prevent instances of fraud. It's possible that a false deed may have been entered into the public record. So someone could try to cheat the public record with a false deed in there. A, a, a fraudster might attempt to use a false deed to engage in the illegal sale of a property. So they're gonna try to sell you that Golden Gate Bridge with a false deed. I know you don't own that bridge. That bridge isn't yours. So separation or divorce. Title problems can occur in situations where a couple are separated but never went through the divorce proceedings. So clearly, if you got a separation type of situation, again, you've got you know you've got the marriage and then you, you've got the joint kind of property and that could be dependent on the states whether it be a community property state and so on. And then with divorce, what happened with the divorce was everything handled properly with regards to the splitting now back into the two. So if the couple owned the home jointly and one person moved out following the separation, they would still own the house without a divorce. As a result, title problems would arise when the person living in the house goes to sell the house because two people would be listed on the deed, a trust. So we got the ownership might have been transferred to a trust or another body with a legal claim to the property. So a trust is like a, a an entity. You can think of it kind of like a corporation. You're given like human beings properties to the trust so the trust now owns the property this instrument owns uh owns the property so this is a way this uh, this is why title searches are performed to identify such issues before a potential buyer has committed funds to acquire a property what does clear title mean a clear title means that a property does not have any liens on it nor does it have any issues surrounding ownership so can I buy a home without a clear title? No, you cannot purchase a home if it does not have a clear title. So generally, you gotta, you're gotta gonna need the clear title going through the process, especially because of course, you're gonna probably need a loan in, in that event, the bank is gonna want the clear title or whatever financial institution, the lender, in other words. It is possible to identify any issues and try to correct them if you still want to purchase the home. So you're gonna say, I still want it, even though it's dirty title, there's a there's dirt on the title. Can't I can't I clean it off? Well, you can try. You can try to clean it off, and if you can clean it off, then that would be good. What are some reasons for an unclear title? There are many reasons why an unclear title might not show up 
in a title search. It could be the property is old and the heirs to the property never properly filed the deed upon their inheritance. During a marital separation, a jointly owned home can cause a problem if two people are listed on the deed. In cases of fraud, a title may show up as unclear as well.